Why is the sea water salty? Most of our planet's surface is covered in water, salt water. Oceans cover nearly 71% of Earth's surface. They contain almost 98% of all the water on Earth. There is one world ocean, but is divided into five main areas. The Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Arctic, and the Southern, or Antarctic. Together, they can be seen as one world ocean because they have no real borders, and water flows freely between them. Seas are much smaller than oceans and are normally found where the land and ocean meet. Here are some examples of seas. Mediterranean Sea, Red Sea, Black Sea, Caribbean Sea, etc. But there is water on Earth that is not salty. For example, lakes. A lake is any relatively large body of slowing, moving or standing water that occupies an inland basin of appreciable size. As a lake is separated from the ocean, it is not a sea. Lakes do not flow like rivers, but many have rivers flowing into and out of them. Most lakes on the surface of the Earth are fresh water and most are in the Northern Hemisphere. More than 60% of the lakes of the world are in Canada. Finland is known as the land of the thousand lakes. Rivers A river is a natural flowing watercourse, usually fresh water, flowing towards an ocean, sea, lake or other river. In some cases, a river flows into the ground and becomes dry at the end of its course without reaching another body of water. Rivers flow in channels. The bottom of the channel is called the bed and the sides of the channel are called the banks. Most settlements were built along major rivers. Rivers provide us with food, energy, recreation, transportation routes and of course water for irrigation and for drinking. Here are some famous rivers. Nile, Mississippi River, Amazon River, Danube, Mekong, Volga River, Thames River. So why is the seawater salty? As rain forms and falls through the air, it accumulates carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, causing it to become slightly acidic. It then flows over the land, eroding rocks and picking up small amounts of salt and other dissolved minerals. At this point, the water is still basically fresh. There is some salt in it, but usually not enough to make it undrinkable. Eventually, though most rainwater finds its way to the ocean, once it gets there, some of the dissolved minerals such as calcium are removed from the water by biological processes, but salt tends to remain. Additional salt is contributed by underwater hydrothermal and volcanic activity. Rivers carry almost 4 billion tons of salt to the sea each year. Rivers are definitely not as salty as the sea, but they constantly carry their small salt content into the sea and as a result the concentration of salt in the sea has built up over millions of years. In fact, rivers aren't the only source of sea salt. Rocks in the sea also play a role, and hydrothermal vents in the ocean floor and subsea volcanoes also supply dissolved salts to the sea. If all this salt could be taken out of the ocean and spread over Earth's land surface, it would form a layer more than 150 meters thick.